Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a minute. If you're new here, I'm Al. I go by Dapper Chef on Poshmark and eBay. I'm a full-time foodie, part-time reseller. So I went thrifting all day yesterday. I spent just about two, a little bit under two fifty for everything I got. So I want to say average cost of everything was about three and a quarter. I also got some stuff for myself, which I'll do at the end. So everything first up is what I'm picking up to sell. So let's get started. I went, I went to four different Salvation Armies. So <clears throat> a lot of the stuff I got was either the half off color or 25% off color. So pretty much everything cost wise, 325 or so. So let's get started. First up, I knew what these were. You might know who these are. For once, they're not this, the brand that you think they're not, which is usually the TJ, TJ Maxx brand. These are Vijas or Vejas. These are $8.99. These are women's 10. So usually with these, when I see this, it's usually that, uh, I want to say TJ Maxx, but other stores make it too, but it's usually the Vintage, uh, vintage Havana or the Nia brand. For once, it's the real Vija, or Vija, Vija, whatever you want to say, however you say that for yours. Those are nice. This guy, $4.99, just a little uh, Plato's Claw, or Plato's, Patagonia uh, belt bag. $2.99, pair of women's Lululemon breast heels. I just need a little wipe down. These are a US 8, so they're the women's West rest feel slide in the bone color. So they're kind of like an off white. Next up, I got to probably just keep for myself just another Lululemon. This was $1.99. Some of these already had the tags taken off because I was starting to list them. This was $3.99, just this nice green colored woman's button front blouse. And this is a good brand to look for. Brand is The Shirt by Rochelle's ba Barons, Barons, size medium. Next guy was $4.99, just this thermal hoodie, men's. Page, which I didn't know they made uh, clothing besides jeans and I didn't know they made men's too. So size large, new with tag. It's the Logan hooded Henley in the red velvet color. Next up, $7.99. Just this uh, black minimalist French cherry organic cotton uh, jumpsuit. It's by Everlane, size extra small. I do good with these, as one of the only styles Everlane's that will sell. Next up, just a striped men's linen shirt. I'm probably just gonna keep for myself. It's by Hugo Boss. This one is, feels like 100% linen, but I think it's a linen blend. No, 100% linen, so maybe I will keep this. Next up, another for four ninety nine. Same thing. I got another one of these shirts again. One hundred percent silk. The brand is Chelsea Flowers. All right. Next up, another one of this brand was three ninety nine again. By the shirt, again by Rochelle Barons. This one is new with tag, size medium. So I'll probably just list those two as a lot. Next up, eight seventy nine. Just a pair of men's uh, button button fly black rag and bone jeans, size thirty six. Eight seventy nine. I got this for two things: a the print, the material, style. It's women's and it's a cotton linen blend. blend. And if you know this brand, this label, it's kind of hard to read. It's extra large. 
It's Godrum Sojourn or Sojourn Godrum, however you want to say it. Seven 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 forty nine. This is a good bolo brand to look for in golf wear. Grayson, G R E Y S O N. Not to be confused with Grayson, the G R A Y S O N, which is like an anthropology brand, I believe. Next guy, seven forty nine. I know this was not that price. Just a basic men's uh, noble tank top, size medium. Next guy. $3.99. This wool tweed skirt with a leather trim. And it's Tory Birch size 8. $5.99. Jack, if you're watching this, as I know this is your favorite go to piece from J. Crew. This is size medium. So J. Crew size medium. It's the sweater cardigan or sweater blazer. This was a recent style ish from 2019. Next up, three ninety nine. Just this Disneyland yellow long sleeve. Sadly, it's not the Spirit Jersey brand. It's just the regular Disney Parks brand. But I'll still sell it. Size small. Six ninety nine. Just a pair of distressed busted knee frayed hem. These are one teaspoon. And they are size 26. The reason I got these is because of the awesome baggies. This is stuck. Next guy, $3.99. I got just based on style. And it was new with tag, so hopefully it should sell decently. Cops are eh. The brand is Lee Rummy. Lee Rummy. And the style is a Mariana mini dress. Up. It's kind of neat. One shoulder or two, what do I want to say, off shoulder dress. This was $3.99. And it's free people, size medium. New with tag. This guy, $2.99. Sorry, I have my little sheet with what I paid for stuff down here. This is a good brand to look for. Bolo. Write this down. The brand is The Fold. I've sold this a couple times in different styles. It's kind of like up there with Emma and Lafleur, where they're kind of like a unique businessy type. This is a US 12, so and this one is made in Poland. 100% viscose. Four ninety nine, just this nice mustard colored, what do you want to call it, like a poncho style hoodie maybe? It's by Lululemon, women's, and it's a women's eight. This guy, another one from that brand again, $3.99. This is the fold again. It's kind of like a very, uh, kind of like asymmetrical style. This one is size medium. It's a 92% wool. Next guy was $5.99. Pair of suede espadrilles. A little pointed toe. These are Vince. They are size 7.5. This guy, $4.99. Just this floral. Boho style jumpsuit. Brand is Kindred. Size small. Next guy, four ninety nine. Pair of, I guess, worked carpenter pants. I want to say carpenter carpenter cargos. And the brand is Teddy Fresh. These are size 30, which I think makes these a men's or a women's, I don't know. I'm saying they might be women's, but they could be a men's size because of the pockets. I don't know, what do we think? I think these are, oh, these are 26, so I'm going to say these are probably a women's size then. Next 
Next up, a newer, the newer, a newer tag theory. These are men's piece. Just a pair of tech chinos, size 29. And then as we know with theory, the style name's here. So these are the Raffio Tech Prompt pants. So that's bag number one, bag number two. So everything in these two bags are going to be like half off. I believe they're all the half off colors. I try to organize some, somewhat organized. So you might know who this is just based on the pocket. Mother. So these were $9.99, but then half off. Mother's 20, size 23, a really low, small size, but price it right, it should sell. And as you know with Mother, the style name's right here. These are the uh, Looker heart, in the Heartbreaker cut, wash. Next up, $3.99, another pair of Mother, mother jeans again. These are size 26, and they're the Hustler Free and Second Chance. $2.99, pair of black helmet length jeans, size 26. $5.99, I got this just based on style. It's got the nice smocking. It kind of might give me a little bit of like Mardi Gras vibes with like the embroidery. So off the shoulder. And I got it because the tag looked interesting. I got to do a little bit more digging on this. The brand is Bomb Wound Pfergarten, whatever that is. I'm going to do a little more digging on this brand. But Bomb und Perfect Garden, whatever that is. It's a size 40. Let's do 12. But again, but again, we know that's not possible. It's going to be a nice pair of suede. Sherpa line. I want to say these are Sherpa, but probably not Sherpa. Uh, boots, sneakers, whatever you want to say. And the brand of these surprised me. These are Stuart Weitzman. Kind of like an older style, but I got those because of the style. And these are a ten and a half. Next up, good bolo to look for. They mostly make. They're mostly known for their cowboy shoes and their ranch uh, wear. I've sold their jeans many times. But I've never seen like loafers. So the brand is Tacobas. These were 17, size 10. Next guy, 299. Just this burnout tee. The exposed seam in the back. The brand is NSF, which this used to do really good for me. Now it just sits, but it does sell. Size extra small, I'm guessing, is when it's P. Main USA. This is a super super light. And it is just a cotton blend. Next guy. I do good with this. It's the Berries Boot Camp, which they do a lot of Lululemon collabs. If you ever find the floral Lululemon, usually that's who they're collabing with. It's Berries Extra Large. I've never found their standalone, so we shall see how that goes. $9.99. This I got based on style at first until I saw who it was. So it kind of looked like from afar this kind of gave, gave me the uh, J. Crew cardigan sweater or this sweater blazer, whatever I called it, until I looked up who it was. And it is St. John, size 14, and it feels like the Santana knit. Sadly, I don't know the material because their material tags are never here. But, for St. John, you always want to look at this, so this, this will tell you like when the collection was from. What's well, kind of this nice uh, sweater, sweater blazer. It's got the nice little button closure in the front. 
was kind of this nice like mint green color. Feels like almost like a maybe a wool blend. This guy, three ninety nine. I got this just based because of the style. Brand is not as good as it used to for me, but it's hopefully it should sell. Made an upperture, size small. This looks like a newer tag. Just got this like metallic rainbow uh, striping throughout. Very lightweight. Cotton and 1% Lorex, so very gauzy. Great for like wearing it over the over swimsuit. $2.99. This is kind of a good casual bolo brand to look for. It's not going to give you a lot of money, but it sells quickly for me. The brand is weekday, so they do a lot of like unisex stuff. So this would be a men's t-shirt, but they, you can market this as a woman's uh, t-shirt dress. That's what I'm going to do. So medium, it's like a nice teal color. $6.99. This I got because it's a newer label and it was new tank. So it's these nice pull-on wool trousers with some metallic shimmer to them. Brand is Lafayette 148, so this is one of their newer labels. And it is the Fulton Pant, size medium. Original retail, apparently, according to them, is $4.98. $8.99, but I know this was 75% off. Just this uh, kind of satiny looking t-shirt, super lightweight burnout style. It's by COS, which is the higher end H&M, size large. $5.99. I got these just because of how cool the styling on these were. It's got these like, nice lacy Lace overlay detail, Michael Corduroy's. And this is Marissa Webb, which I first time finding her standalone. Usually I find the Anthropology collab. Marissa Webb, size 4. $6.99. I got just these because of style. And these nice, kind of cargo ish, cargo esque. Studio Pants by McGuire Dunham, size 32. So I got these because they're a bigger size. Next up, 3 dollars and $3.99. Just two pairs of board shorts, both size 34. And they're Patagonia. One is kind of like this golf tee. I'm going to call it a golf tee print or chess. And then the other one is just some Hawaiian tropic flowers. So this label looks like this one. So I think this is an older style. And this might be a newer label maybe, or I'm just, one of them looks newer, one of them looks older. $12.99, I got this because I know who, exactly what this dress was, who this brand is. You know this kind of cutout and the trim, you'll know. Size so small and it's Staub. Next guy, based, I got this just based on material and style. Just this women's relaxed oversized shirt dress. 100% linen, and it's Everlane, size large. This I got because of how quirky it was, and then I looked it up and I was surprised. So it's like this terry cloth. Kind of halter neck style dress. There you go, better idea, right? Yeah. Size so small. The brand is Pampillon. Pampillon. See, there is no material tag, but I want to say it's like a, maybe, maybe like a cotton or a cherry cloth blend because it feels like it. It's got some nice stretch, good body time dress. Next up, $8.99, but this was a 75% off color. This is pink uh, dicky style jumpsuit or mechanic suit. Barbie. It is actually by Barbie or Mattel, if you want to say Barbie the movie. So we shall see if Barbie is still popular. 
last in this pack. Just this, uh, not a lounge fly. I thought it was a lounge fly. But it's kind of like a mini backpack. Droid Depot. And it's Disney Parks for Star Wars Galaxy Edge. So you might not. So Star Wars Galaxy Edge. So when we get that, is at the park. And this one was $4.99. The backpack was seven bucks. This one is only $4.99. This one actually is a lounge fly. It's a Pokemon lounge fly, which I might be keeping this because I like my Pokemon and I like my lounge flies. Next guy. These were 16 originally. Brand, I got these just based on style. So they kind of remind me like a Converse meets like a Palladium, Palladium shoe. But after kind of looking it up, this is such a good bolo look for. The brand is Viron, V I R O N. So what made me look them up was they're handmade in Portugal and they're plant based footwear. So these part retail were like. 275 ish, but comps are I cannot find a single cop for this style. Just to show. Next guy, 12.99. I got this because of two things. A, it's a concert apparel made in Portugal, and it was Dua Lipa. So this is from the Dua Lipa Future Nostalgia Tour. Size small. The brand is Pangea, Pangea, which is like a toy merch company. Next guy, $9.99, but half off again. This, I knew who this was just from the liner. You might know who it is. It's a Veronica beard, size 10, and it is a linen blend. And what's nice about this is it still had the uh, belt attached. So this, this will probably just make, if this sells, pretty much everything I bought is pure, pure profit after this. So this will pay for my whole haul. Next guy, $3.99. Just this linen blend v-neck. And I think this is Goop. If I remember correctly, size large, Goop, which is, you know, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's line. Correct me if I'm wrong about that being that brand. Next guy, ten ninety nine again, half off. Just these Cinchilla Patagonia pants, size large. These, I don't know if these are men's or women's. I'm going to say they might be a men's, just based on the cut. But typing in the style, it's all mixed. Next guy, $6.99. Just this cream colored pullover sweatshirt. Brand is Talentless, which if you're a Kardashian person, it's Scott Disick's line. $10.99, but this was again half off. This I got because I knew who the brand was. Feeling this, it's like a nice wool material. And then, saw the pink trim, so I already knew who it was based on that. If you're not familiar, the brand is Rafa which is a really expensive cycling company. And then they like to use the Riri, the Riri uh, zippers. So size large, it is 98% wool, 2% polyester. It's the wool wind jacket. Go look this brand up and you'll be surprised. With them, there's really no like thing that screams a brain. $5.99. This is 100% cashmere v-neck sweater, nice gray color, star accent on the back, size small, that's 360 cashmere. Next guy, $7.99, I got based on style, and then I just looked it up and I was very pleasantly surprised by the comps. So it's kind of this mechanic jumpsuit, white to denim, size medium, and the brand is a Rivet Utility. Go look this up and you'll, you'll be shocked as what uh, they go for.
Next guy, five ninety nine. Again, with Grayson. I've been finding this brand more and more. Size small. Good, uh, good brand to look for in golf. I don't know if they make strictly men's. I've never found women's, but I've only found the men's stuff. Next guy, just this nice neoprene dress. Black. All Saints. Size medium. And as we know, with All Saints, style name's always down here. Same with the size. It's the Echo dress. Next guy, these were three bucks and then 75% off that. These I got because they looked interesting. And I looked up the brand. So the brand is Adams, A T O M S. They kind of remind me like a Kizik or like an Allbirds. So like they're unisex. So these are a men's six, women's seven. Designed in California, made in South Korea. So we shall see how these do. Next guy. Oh no, no settings. Two ninety nine. Just this white, oh white, white and pink striped mini dress, shirt dress. What I say? By Hill House. Size small. So second time finding that. Seven ninety nine. Next guy. This I wish I would have gotten last month, but it should still sell quick. Just this nice metallic, kind of bronzy knit. Maternity dress. It's a really good maternity brand look for. Hatch, size 2. And as we know, this is regular Hatch, not the 9s by Hatch. Which 9s by Hatch is their cheap line at Target. Alright, next up. I got this because of how the style was. It's got nice floral, nice smocking. Red, which is going to be a good color this year. It's kind of boho, too. The brand is Aretta. A U R E T A, size medium. People have this listen to Anthropology and Revolve. So if anyone's familiar, feel free to let me know. Next up, just a print that never goes out of color, uh, season. Camo, nice Pima cotton material feeling. This is a really good brand to look for, which is ATM. So it stands for Anthony Thomas Mulatto or whatever. They make a lot of like minimalist uh, Italian inspired uh, clothes. What's up, four ninety nine? These just gave me very uh, Y two K Britney Spears vibes. So nice full leather, wide leg, the star butt, which you probably know who this is gonna be if you know the star butt. These are Re Revice size twenty seven. So. Even they're full leather, they still say they're 100% cotton. So I don't know if that means... I don't know what that means then. But still, I got them regardless. What's up? $6.99. Full leather pants, wide leg, kind of like a snake crocodile print. These are women's good American, size 6 or 28. Next up, a nice little tank top that was 195. Just this blue in the front with this nautical anchor print in the back. This I'm thinking is a woman's maybe, if any. I'll have to do a little more digging though. But the brand is Helly Hansen, which does really good for me. Size medium. So that's it, what I got to sell. Now here's what I picked up for myself. First up for myself is this guy. This is really cool, like linen-y, cotton-y feeling camp shirt with these kind of retro prints or geometric prints all throughout. Brand is Mollusk, made in California. I just pair of little joggers for myself. Size medium. Jason Scott, which kind of sells decently at Nordstrom. I 
Come some me. Next guy. Have a copy and fix. Little floral shirt. These for myself again. Nice little white pair of men's rag and bones. These I got trying. If they don't fit me, I definitely will be selling these. The brand is Buck Mason, which is a really good bolo brand. Let's go. Paul and Shark Yachting. Really good bolo brand to look for if you're trying to find some stuff. They're kind of like the pioneer, I want to say, of the whole goat core trend. So they were goat core before goat core was a thing. They were before like L.L. Bean. They were the originators of like the fisherman knit. This I got to do a little more digging on. Digging, digging up on. The brand is like Blanket Blend maybe or the softest hoodie on earth. But maybe look it up it was because it was made in the USA. So the brand maybe is Feet or Feet Sacks. But no, I'm going to keep it for myself probably. Next up, this was on my thrift list, or thrift list, or I was going to buy this anyway. Because I've, after seeing it online, I was envious of this. This exact colorway. It's Smart World. Next up, this wool kind of cropped, not cropped, I was going to say, hip length jacket. And it's J. Crew, but it's the Wallace and Barnes line of J. Crew. Nice little striped Patagonia pocket tee, which I was good for layering. This I'll probably wear for St. Patrick's Day. Just a COS sweatshirt. Next up, just a nice little generic, or generic, or basic minimalist style uh, pullover sweatshirt. This is a really good brand to look for for men's if you're trying to find some good men's brands to look up. But it's Gustin, G-U-S-T-I-N. This I got for myself too, again. It's just this nice linen blend. It's kind of got this, these creams in it. It's All Saints. Next guy, this is vintage. I want to say this is like an 80s or 90s label. It was Polo Ralph Lauren. And it's a linen cotton blend. I got this just because of the cut, and I need a good linen blazer. Cardigan, I need. Next one, another good brand to look for for men's if you're ever trying to find some good men's stuff again. This I got for myself though. Good Life. So they these uh, retail like crazy amount at Nordstrom if you ever come across them. Next guy, I got to do a little more digging on, but I'll probably keep just because of the graphic. It's nice as little. Octopus embroidered, nice light blue uh, polo, which I feel like when I wear blue, it brings out my blue eyes more. What do we say? The brand is Tom and Teddy. Next guy, just these two Lululemon polos. I knew what they were, just based because of the buttons. As you know, with Lulu, the buttons don't really do any branding, so they kind of get overpassed. And then, don't hate me, I know people are going to get weird out with this. But I do wash these and then I'll wear them. But a pair of uh, Lululemon boxers. Which, if you know how much these retail for just for one single one, you realize why I got it. Frame, just basic black t shirt. Denim Supply Ralph Lauren, this little pocket t-shirt, black, but with the little American flag accent. Next guy, Toad & Co, which used to be called the Horny Toad. Just this rugby polo, which I'm in my rugby polo era right now. And because I'm a sucker for this brain, I, whenever I find it, I'll pick it up. Pajal Raven. And then another Frizzall Raven. 
this guy originally would have been 50 bucks, but it was 75% off. So good bargain for this. And this, the brand is kind of not in your face, but it's Rains, which is a really good brand to look for again. But you know, I got this just because I, I, uh, I've been eyeballing this at the at Nordstrom. I didn't want to spend the money on this, so I went out thrift it, and I thrifted it. The last item, I gotta do a little more digging on. I'm not 100% sure if they're real, but they match some of the other pairs I have. They're Gucci. What's throwing me off with these guys is this. The back patch is down. It's a little off. Usually the back patch should be up more. But it's Gucci, made in Italy, size 48, which is like a 32 or 33. But everything else and all the labels match everything I've seen online and match the pants I have. So we shall see. Just a pair of Espergils. You might know this print by the brand. The brand by this print. They are Etro, which I ne I never find Etro shoes. I mostly find their button downs. And then that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to reach out if you see anything you want. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram. On my Instagram, I'm Chef. So C H E F A L Y. N N or email me at chefelin at gmail.com. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.